I have been asked to make a video on how to install the Embruary add-on for MB uh, onto uh, the box running uh, Libre or Core, Core ELEC. So first thing you're going to need is a box. Now this is one of my older B-Links boxes, Android TV boxes. Now somewhere on here is a, you'll find a hole for a reset button. So this one, sometimes they'll have it in the AV port. This one does not have an AV, AV port. So where this one does have, on the back of it, if you notice, there's a pinhole right here. Now underneath that hole, there's a reset button on the board. So what you have to do, you take a uh, paper clip, you insert it into that hole, and gently you will press it. You will hear and feel that switch that's underneath there. You depress that and hold it in as you plug the power in. Now what that does, that gives it, that sends it into the uh, recovery menu so you can install the uh, different OS, whether it's Linux, Libre, ELEC, or Core ELEC. So that's what you'll need. Okay, you're also going to need uh, to create the operating system, the Linux or the Core ELEC or whatever. You're going to need a micro SD card. This particular one is a 32 gigabyte, okay? So you're also going to need a card reader. Sometimes your computer may have a card reader built into it. Mine doesn't, so I have to use an external card reader. And then you're going to need a USB cable to plug into the card reader to plug into your computer. So those are the only things you're going to need to create that operating system, whether it be Linux, Core ELEC, or Libre. In this case, I'm going to use core ELEC and show you how to set it up and get everything running. So that's what I'm going to do. Now that we have all our items gathered up, the hardware wise, now we have to get the firmware. So right now we're going to install core ELEC. Now this time we're going to install it onto our new B-Link GT King. So that's the new Amlogic S922X system on a chip. So that's the device we're going to add this to. So we're going to go to the Nightly's. Now you're at Core ELEC. <coughs> and we're going to get this one here. The Amlogic NG ARM 9.1 Nightly Generic. So that's one we're going to download. It's downloading now. Okay, it just got done downloading this one here. Now we have to create the bootable operating system on our micro SD card. Now we can use two different uh, apps. We can use Rufus or we can use Etcher. I normally prefer Etcher because uh, these micro SD cards, they've already got different uh, versions on them. They might have Linux or whatever. This one seems to be the best for overriding whatever has to be. So anyway, we're going to select this one. Select, we're going to select that one that we just downloaded. And that's the micro USB that we're using. We're going to go ahead and flash it. All right, we'll come back when we get done flashing. Okay, the flash is complete. So what we will do now, we will ex take the uh, micro SD card out of the uh, reader and reinsert it, and then we will come back. Okay, here's the micro SD card, which has got core ELEC on it. Now, here we have device trees. Now, there's no device tree here. We're at the root of that micro SD card, so we have to open up the device trees. Okay, now we're going to pick this one here, the GT King. So we're going to get that one. We're going to copy it, and then we're going to go back to the root again, and we're going to paste it. Now, this time, we're going to rename it. to dtb.img so we got dtb.img okay so now we have the uh, dtb image device tree on, on the root of the box so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to eject it okay now we can go ahead and Remove it and go put it into our device. Okay, here it is. 
booting up. Click Next. Now we're going to change the name of this one since this is a B-Link GTK for King. We're going to name it King. So let's go Okay, now it's called Core ELEC King. Okay, now since I'm not connected by Ethernet, as I just said, we're going to use Wi-Fi. So I will continue. We want to we want to be able to SSH into it from our computer if necessary. So we turn that on. We enable that. Click Next. Okay, now we're set up. And what we'll do now, uh, we want to enter uh, our Embury. Okay, but first let's go ahead and uh, check some things here. Now, System, Display. Okay, now I'm using a uh, 1080p computer, or excuse me, monitor. And directly connected to the TV so I'm not using a uh, AVR so I will just use a regular uh, display 1080p audio stereo so that's what I'm going to use okay my mouse was waving all over the place so I had to go to input and disable that so I no longer have mouse movement but I am using this uh, RF radio frequency remote that came with the box and it also has a little icon for the mouse to use for Android But we don't use it here. All right, so I'll go ahead and uh, Go back up to my computer and finish setting some of this up from my computer There is one more step that I have to do. I have to enable the Wi-Fi and put in a password I'm so used to using my internet Ethernet cable, so I don't use Wi-Fi except for this case. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put in the uh, um, the Wi-Fi password. So we go to Corey LEC, go to connections, and it should show up there. Okay, give it a minute; it'll show up. Then I'll go ahead and put my password in, then I will be on the internet. Okay, these are the ones it shows. So I'm going to connect to this one. I said connect to the Ethernet. I, uh, Internet. I meant connect to my network. So that way I can see it anywhere on my network. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and uh, put password in on that one. Okay. I am connected with my 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi band. Before we get too far along, if you notice in the top right hand corner, the time is wrong. So I have to go back and change the settings. So... Go to interface and go to regional and we'll go back and set the time country. There's a couple more adjustments that I need to make while I'm in the screen. Uh, I like closed captions on my uh, shows so if, to get that I go to language. Enable parsing for closed captions. So when I'm li watching live TV or recorded TV, I need to watch the ca closed captions. So I need to turn this on. I usually like to put it at the bottom of the screen. And 28 is too big, so I usually bring it about to 20 or 18. Normal. And I like bright green. So that's what I use there. So now I got that set up. And also, when I use my uh, DVR, I want to set the guide. I want to have 14 days of guide data. I think that's all it provides me. So anyway, uh, I want to use the channel orders from the back end, which is already enabled. So I'm all set there. So I'll go ahead and uh, set the other one up. Now that we have Core ELEC installed, now we have to go and get the Embraware skin by Solfred. So, here's 
where we get it at. This is the first page of MB. We're going to get my repo. Okay, let's get download the installable zip. We're going to download that. And there it is. Show all. There it is. Okay. So now we're going to go to the download folder. And then there it is right there. Now, well, there's multiple ways we can get that to that uh, B-Link device. I can copy that to a uh, micro, or excuse me, a USB stick, or I can copy it to one of my network storage devices, or I can actually copy it directly to the box itself, the B-Link Corley King, okay? So I can put it in downloads. So let's go back. And there it is right there. Now, here's some other stuff. Well, we don't need this one anymore. That's the one we downloaded and installed it, so we're going to delete that. Now, here's different plugins to give you uh, Netflix on this box. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and copy all of these. And I'm going to put them back to Corelli King. Let's put it in the download folder. Okay, that's done. Now we'll go back to the uh, Billy King, connect it to the TV, and we will install it. So now the next step in installing the Emory add-on or skin, okay, we need to go and install the add-on that we just copied to our uh, internal folders. So let's go over to install from zip file. Because if you noticed, it was a zip. Okay, so we want to go to the home folder, downloads, and there they are there. Now, that's the Netflix we'll use to get a 1080p Netflix running on Core ELEC. Uh, here's the Beta MB, and here's Fred's repo that we just installed. So we're going to uh, just copy. So we're going to install that. Okay, it's installed. Okay, now we're going to go install from repository. We're going to use Software's repository. Here's this add-on. So I'm going to go ahead and install these, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I installed each one of these add-ons, so now I'll go ahead and install the programs from those. Okay, now here's what I want to show you too. Now we're back to Software's repo. Look in the field, and now here's the skin. So when we install that, Okay, we're going to use Sulfred's repo. We're going to use that one. And here's all the uh, add-ons that will be installed with it. And this box is fast, so it really doesn't take that long to install them, surprisingly. But anyway, when this comes up, I'm not going to go to that uh, screen right yet, because I want to finish installing some of the other stuff prior to that. So. That's what I want to show you. I'm just going to wait till that comes up, and then I'm not going to, would you like to switch? No, I'm not going to at this time, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and finish adding, installing some of the other add-ons. Okay, I went through and installed all these add-ons. Okay, now we'll go back and continue on. So we're going to install some of this one's, his add-ons. Okay, we've got everything installed now from Sulfred's repo. So now here's where we're going to add the video add-ons. This is MB. Now this is the one that's going to actually connect with our uh, server. So we're going to install that. This is the key right here. And this was created by Angel Blue 05. Okay, now this is where we select our main server. Uh, I got to serve it on my main computer and the B Link. So we're going, the B Link is a uh, micro PC computer that B Link sent me. So that's what I'm running the server on. So we'll go ahead and connect with that. Now, what it's going to do. Please sign as a user. Now what it's going to do, it's going to scan everything that's in my server. 
Well, first is asking these questions. I say, sure, sink everything. Don't know what it means, but we're going to sink it anyway. Okay, now choose the MB views to sync to Kodi. You can optionally sync libraries at a later time. So we're going to proceed. Okay, I don't want to do all of them. I'm going to do the TV shows. I want to do the movies, recorded movies. I'm not going to do the security cameras. I'm not going to do the music. And a, okay, so that's the one I'm going to do. Okay, now it's going to take a while, but it's going to go ahead and scan all those in, from my server into this box. So we'll come back. Okay, it's still scraping. It scraped all the, I guess you would call it scraping. But anyway, it's got all the TV episodes done, and now it's about 80% complete with the movie. So it won't be long now, and it will be fully installed. And then I'll show you the end results. It has completed its scraping, so now we'll go back and change the skin. Interface. Okay, that's it. This is the Emberwary skin. So, that's all there was to install it. So, enjoy. Thank you.